Mm-hmm. Blame Adam Silver for the NBA's load management issue. You know I got a joke ready. I mean, you gonna yeah. try that one more time? Let me get that. Ante Tacumpo. My dog. <laughs> Redemption. Ante Tacumpo. See, you ain't got to practice all morning. Yeah, I know. Ante Tacumpo. You ain't got to turn off the TV, Mr. Trubisky. Just <laughs> keep, keep watching it. Um, one, I don't have an issue at all with this, and I'm getting a little perturbed, disturbed by the fans who keep inserting themselves a little too high in the priority and the pecking order in the food chain. Talking about, we paid our hard-earned money to go to the game and he's not there. You know what is also true? Uh, Last time I went to Six Flags, the Colossus was shut down. Guess what I did? Went on the revolution. Just, you know what? (laughs) Kept it moving. It's enough to do. It's it's coming back. You can go back again. It's going to be 82 games plus. Shut your trap. Now, let me get too wild. Little man was upset, though. You dealt with it. Little man was upset. Little man was hot. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But but, but Pirates Booty Popcorn (laughs) saves all parents. Just letting you know that. Um, I love the player empowerment that is coming from this. More importantly, the organizational support and cooperation. That is amazing just to think as a former player to not only have an organization serving their interests while your self-interests are also respected. Because there are times when you're compromised. I give you Adam Silver's words verbatim. That term load management is generally used in regard to rest. That's not what the protocol was for Kawhi. He has an injury. This is different than a guy just saying, let me see the schedule. Tap out, tap out, tap out. This is a guy. I'm giving you this. Kawhi Leonard has not played a back-to-back since April of 2017. For all you clout chasers, Mm -hmm. all you people want to make smoke, where you been for two, almost three years, talking about this? (laughs) It's building now because this team is the Clippers, supposed to win the championship. I am saying to you guys that if you have a player who is managing the marathon, the course, the terrain properly, and an organization supports them, and an NBA that supports them, where do you think your concerns truly land? Quiet and move on to the next game. That was a good point. That's what, exactly what I was going to say. Oh, then. That's been a while since he played in the back-to-back. Man. And if that, that trend continued, which it did this week, I mean, obviously, look, you got an option of playing against Giannis or playing against Rodney Hood and Kent Bazemore tonight. Mm. I, I think, <laughs> <laughs> think that's self-explanatory right there. Yeah. But I will say this, to stick with the question, I think Adam Silver is going to have to be the one who does something about this issue. But I think it's beyond him. It's bigger than him. He's going to be, have to be the one to resolve it. Earl Watson tweeted this a couple days ago. I don't know if you guys seen this. I did. That <clears throat> players are coming into the league with mallets based off of the rigorous AAU schedule. Right. And if you add on the top high school players, the ones who are McDonald's All-American caliber type players, on top of the AAU schedule, they go outside the country play all these games throughout the summer. They're playing more games than their regular high school season. And so if you add all of that, they're not the regular 19-year-old players that we've accustomed to. Now, we want to say Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewan, they did it. Well, they didn't play as many games as they did during the course of regular high school season than these players are playing now. Look at LaMelo. You can't tell me Hmm. he's going to be a regular, fresh 19-year-old coming into the league. You know, he's been all over the place. So I think that is a big issue. That's the biggest issue, but it's going to be ultimately up to Adam Silver to fix it. Can we not agree they should shorten the season? To yes, yeah, that's, that's what it that's what, that's yeah, what should happen. Saying it. Every yeah. player is crying out for that. Yeah. And that. shouldn't we agree if, we, if, if 15% of the games go away, they're going to have to give up 15% of the money? Down, that's a player conversation. Well, that's, I'm, that's I'm, a, that's I'm, a, I'm in their pockets. <laughs> Me, I wouldn't make that deal. I would just load manage for my 82. And load management can take a lot of different versions and courses. Doc Rivers talks about this. I'm holding Patrick out of practice. I'm going to try and find ways to get him out of the games without load managing and violating the NBA's rules. There are times when you have a player who sees a back-to-back and has a lingering issue. You start to play that and prolong that. But let's not forget why Kawhi has become the poster child for this and how we got here and how the Spurs try to destroy his character when he actually was injured. And when he went back and they misdiagnosed him for a second time, and he said, 
the Spurs, the story franchise, is not going to respect this player. And then they started to employ Ginobili and who else did they? Tony Parker. Tony Parker, Parker. Yeah. and David Robinson and all the alums to assault this man's character who has never said a word to anybody and certainly nothing of malice. And he realized in that moment, oh, I got to do for myself. Dolo on this one. And I respect Kawhi even if he were violating the rules, which in this situation, he's not. Here's my problem with Adam Silver, though. And, and my problem with... Because I don't think there's anybody looking out for American basketball. Earl Watson mm. gets at a great point. And, and, and this is where I think basketball's been out of control for a long time. No one wants to step up and do what's right for college basketball and for high school basketball. The shoe companies get an eight summer basketball gets free reign to do whatever the hell they wanted to do. This is why I'm just saying Adam Silver and the NBA are so focused on China that no one's doing the right things to protect the health of American basketball. And that's why you got 16, 17 year old kids out here playing too many damn games, not protecting their long term health. American basketball is not in great health. We keep looking, oh, they, they're producing the stars, blah, blah, blah. This game is being neglected. The NBA would be better, I'm telling you, um, in America if the college game were better. But America's not the priority. Mm. China's the priority. Mm -hmm. And that's why American basketball continues to languish. College basketball becomes less and less important and more irrelevant, and we're allowing that to happen. I don't think that's good for American basketball. Might be good for the NBA's interest in China, but not good for us here in America. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.